Hello and welcome to this month's White Report. With such conjecture in market commentary about the prospects for the real estate market in 2017, we awaited our February results with more than usual interest. Our result of $3.4 billion was actually a slight increase over last year. Both in New South Wales and Victoria, we had personal best months. And most markets were consistent with last year, with the exception of West Australia, which is still experiencing a lack of confidence. Our commercial businesses came in at $152 million for the month, slightly behind 2016. The sale of the precinct at Stewart Drive in Townsville by Stephen Kidd for $22 million further underlined the strength of the investment market, even in regional areas. Our partners at Loan Market had a strong month with lodgements coming in at over $1 billion and settlements reaching more than $622 million. In all states except Western Australia, property management vacancy rates hover between 1% and 2%. In Perth at the moment, however, the vacancy rate is now over 30%, an astonishing number. It illustrates how many people have left the state since the mining boom subsided some years ago. No wonder there's been pressure on prices in Perth and other regional centres of Western Australia. Our customer satisfaction rankings continue to show strength with more than 1,000 new clients rating Ray White service a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Overall, our MPS score as a group sits at a positive 74. We are pleased to announce that the wealth market is now open. It's a natural extension of the loan market business and a team of 22 professionals have now commenced offering its services nationally. Every year in February, our corporate teams to come together at our Crow's Nest Conference. An enormous commitment has been made this year to continue to evolve our technology platform to enhance the efficiencies of our real estate businesses and driving deeper levels of customer satisfaction. A highlight of the Crow's Nest Conference was our awards evening, with Georgia Jarka of White & Partners receiving the White Family Trophy, and Jason Alford of our One System Technology team claiming Chairman's Cup. Both very deserved winners, but congratulations to all our award winners at the Crow's Nest Night. Our commercial operations in New South Wales continue to expand with the opening of the third commercial New South Wales office, Greater Sydney South. We're also proud to introduce David Lyons and Tony Braham who join the commercial New South Wales team as directors and bring with them 71 years of combined experience in delivering great customer results. This month we've seen a great number of new residential and rural businesses join our group. In Victoria, new offices have opened in Wangaratta, Werribee and Truganina. In Queensland, we opened in Bridgman Downs, Cleveland and Victoria Point. In South Australia, Ray White Port Lincoln is now open. In New South Wales, new offices have opened in Moore Bank and Empire Bay. And our rural network welcomes new operations in Ganada and Miles. A very warm welcome to all our new business owners. Our team in South Australia has announced is now a key partner of the Port Adelaide Football Club. It's a fantastic opportunity to enhance our brand presence in the state. And it's also exciting to align ourselves with a business that actually embraces the digital and social sphere as impressively as the Port Adelaide Club does. That's it for this month. We look forward to seeing you again for the next edition of The White Report. <music>